Hello! I am back to talk about my toy, Shield of Olympus. Uh, this is iteration 4, and uh, kind of before I really show off the main new additions that I added to my shield, I kind of wanted to talk about um, this, what this recent playthrough kind of displayed for me, and it allowed me to see the strengths and weaknesses within my design. Um, so I'd say my strength, my strength specifically with the shield would be the the story, the concept, and the overall design that I created with it. It has uh, multiple meanings behind it. The symbols itself, they're all well thought out. Um, so I think that's a, a real strength that I can play to. Um, weaknesses, I would say, uh, I realized that this, that I designed the shield to mainly be held by people that weren't little kids. Um, and I think that stemmed from me designing the game to be basically for a uh, mature 17 up. That would be the ER e ESRB rating. Forgive me, a little bit tongue-tied. Um, and as a result, I, I basically kind of created a toy that, uh, that younger kids possibly could easily break. Um, if I were to go back and, and recreate, like, with what I know now about the, to about the Shield of Olympus, I would use some more durable materials. I probably, I wouldn't use yarn just because the effect I wanted wasn't exactly displayed. I mean, it, it does a good way of it coming across, but... Um, I can say that the, the back, I definitely like how it turned out, and just generally the overall design and concept I have. Uh, another weakness I would have is that I realize that it doesn't exactly play towards the explorer player type that I chose to focus on. Um, it does revolve around the explorer player type, obviously, because it has multiple uses. Uh, but I realized that it needed some other type of element to it. So uh, in, in this recent iteration, I actually added um, a new concept to it that draws more towards the aura um, aspect of the shield. So for the shield itself, uh, cosmetically, I added the spikes. So you can see the spikes there all nice and displayed. I managed to get them in a just the right spot to where you can see them. So these kind of just add to the overall design and then the um, the weapon capability of the shield itself. On the back, you'll notice that uh, I managed to get the arm holds just right so I can lift the shield up. I can hold it with one arm. It's working totally fine. It's not breaking. It's not doing anything. It took a while, but I sewed it. Um, it's a little bit difficult to see, but I have the, I, ha I have the, the evil eye symbol portrayed on here. Um, it's in Sharpie, but it didn't really transfer well, unfortunately. Um, here I have the Pythos symbol. I was able to cut out a piece of the fabric to display the flap, so the way you can see the storage aspect of the shield that it allows for the inventory. Um, one of the big factors that I realized was that I did not establish the aura properly. And um, through the, the further development of the aura, I was able to actually come up with a concept that would further um, develop, well, further strengthen the relationship between my shield and the explorer player type. So, bear with me, turn that on. I added LED lights. So, the lights in this concept for the shield are meant to symbolize the aura. So I can actually change their colors. So I'll just slightly turn one light off so you can see the coloration a bit better. So green signifies healing in this aspect. So when the player takes damage, um, it's actually going to turn red to show that they have taken damage and that they don't have full health. When it is green, that shows that you are healing and you are close to being fully healed. Now, when you are not taking damage or being healed, the color will change to a purple. Now purple, it kind of looks blue, but it's purple, I swear. So the purple stands for, uh, it's, it's a color that's often associated with, uh, with protection. So I wanted to use that color as it. Now, for the, for, to relate to the explorer type, I developed a concept of, Basically having the aura be also a item finder. So during 
my last paper prototype, I added in a hidden object that you can find, uh, which in this case, it was the, the Tales of Hercules, the, the 12 labors. So throughout the game, you'll be able to find these little like codexes and stuff like that to where it'll tell ancient Greek myths and little factoids, everything like that, you know, kind of just basically it, it gives background to the whole story and Greek mythology to the player itself. So when an item is near, the aura will actually change color to a yellow, the yellow gold. Actually, it looks more green than anything, but it's a yellow gold. <laughs> so when it turns yellow gold, that signifies that an item is nearby. So this further enhances the explorer type and allows the player to kind of it, it makes them further their exploration, and it makes them realize that there's more to the game that they can actually find and interact with. Um, and then obviously when you find an item, you can put it in your storage that's right here in the shield. As of right now, I don't think there's anything else I can really add to the shield. <laughs> uh, if there's anything, it'd probably have to be cosmetic. Um, Concept-wise and design-wise, I think I've, I've really done really good. Um, I actually like the concept that I came with, up with the aura um, to further it, besides just having the evil eye with the coloration, it makes it really good, um, in my opinion. But yeah, so that's uh, iteration four of my Shield of Olympus. Yoda is over there in the background, <laughs> chilling with the other Yodas. Uh, but yeah, so thank you for watching, and this has been my new and improved Shield of Olympus.